mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the biggest narcissist of them all? Apparently it's Rachel. Disney's backlash over this movie is getting ridiculous, and this is a bonus video because I wanted to talk about this, but I felt like I need to hop on this early so people get to see it and it doesn't get buried by algorithms but here we go rachel 22 calls uproar online when she admitted she hated the original movie the actress insisted snow white would not be dreaming of her true love in the up and coming movie pr and marketing executives warned her comments could have a negative impact on the movie's success when it's released in march 24 she has been accused of being a fake feminist and gaslighting disney fans this is such a ridiculous thing and i want to say there is some two very good live action snow whites uh, Snow White and the Huntsman and Mirror Mirror. You either love them or you hate them. I happen to love them both. So it's it's that situation of like actors need to stop talking. And not that long ago, there was a layer of PR between the what the the film and the promotion and what they said in interviews. There was briefs. There was scripted. It was all very happy, happy. And this has not been that way. Uh, the backlash occurred after several videos of Rachel speaking negatively about the original film in various interviews last year resurfaced online. She said her character isn't going to be saved by the prince and she's not going to be dreaming of true love. This is crisis talks to Disney because Disney are in a financially precarious position where they're losing money. Disney are bleeding money. They're cutting physical media in Australia. Disney Plus is losing subscribers. They should just reissue these films and let people see them again. Because... The remakes are not living up to it. I mean, The Little Mermaid was not a good movie. And I think Disney need to be extremely careful how they portray Snow White and what they do and don't allow the actors to say. That's a true statement here. I think they need to call back on the marketing and how it is. It's possibly a good idea to get Rachel to clarify what she meant and highlights. It's her own personal opinion, not a slight on women. They should highlight the important messages that it's okay to be who you want to be. After all, Disney have been famously telling us that their place is where dreams come true. They never actually define the dreams. Perhaps she isn't the best person to promote this movie. And I th feel like some of the interviews have been somewhat cringy and somewhat awkward because it's very obvious. Disney need to recoup as much money as possible, but I'm predicting a flop with this movie. I'm predicting this film is just going to tank like the rest of them. And that's going to be a problem. Like, breaking even and making a few thousand over the budget isn't a profit for these movies. And these are expensive things. I, I honestly, I think this is just watching this PR disaster happen. Who, like, who is the PR people behind this? Like, she needs to be fed what to say and keep it to script rather than like the old stars did. It was very scripted interviews. It was very scripted promotion. It's just ridiculous. Um, we have a different approach, but I'm sure a lot of people will assume a love story just because we cast the guy in the movie, Rachel continued, referring to the actor as the prince. She joked that all of his scenes could get cut. And she also, in a separate interview, mentioned she was terrified of the Snow White Snow White ride at Disney World. I was scared of the original version. I think I watched it once and never picked it up again. I'm being so serious, she claimed. I watched it once and I went on a ride in Disney World. It was called Disney's Snow White Scary Adventure. Doesn't that sound like something a little kid would like? I was terrified of it. I've never revisited Snow White again. After TikTok and Twitter blew up with negative responses, she seemed to respond to... The backlash and tweeted on Friday, I hope the world becomes kinder. A few hours later, I love you so much forever and ever. Remember to be kind and treat each other with empathy. Remembering that love is unconditional, no matter your mistakes, no matter your misunderstandings, you deserve it. You deserve love. You deserve to live without fear. <sighs> One fan replied, are you also just like extremely exhausted all the time? I'm just, I think this film is going to flop. I think this is going to be another Disney misfire. And I think already the negative press is building. I don't think parents want to take their movies to, their kids to movies that are two and a half hours long. They don't want to take their kids to films with overtly strong messages and overtly strong, well, I mean, all of this stuff. There's like a whole list of things. I think it's, I think at this point it's kind of ridiculous that Disney just keep recycling their old content. I think it's, it is ridiculous. I'm using that word a lot, but 
Disney are in this financial position where they need to recoup some money, and I don't think this film is going to do it. The DeWolf controversy as well, where DeWolf actors saying they wanted these roles, they wanted this stuff. Uh, it has been criticised for not casting DeWolf actors, and a lot of people have expressed disappointment in that. You know, it's... Go on TikTok, go on YouTube, look up these names, and you will be shocked at what pops up. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's... This whole film, I think, is just going to be a disaster, and it's already alienating its key audience, which are children. And that's a problem. Disney adults and children. My advice is don't watch this pile of crap. Watch the original, watch Snow White and the Huntsman, and watch Mirror Mirror. I don't... Like, it, this film could be amazing, but... It's Disney. Uh, they they just don't understand, and this whole idea of what they need to push, what they need to say to, to get these films, like, it just doesn't work. I mean, the actress also said, I meant, you know, the original cartoon came out in 37, and it's very evidently so. There's a big focus on the love story with a guy who literally stalks her. Weird, weird. He doesn't stalk her. Like, projection much? It just, it, it seems like they they want to tell an original story and use Snow White as a marketing ploy. That's all it is. Actors need to stop talking. Disney needs to fire people. Disney needs to stop recycling their content. And Disney need to say to these people, shut up. It, it That's it. That's all they need to do. I'm just, I think Disney deserve to die <laughs> at this point. Because they, they're just churning out crap. They're, they're killing franchises. They're recycling their content. The pseudo-feminism of everything that's happening. The, the leaked images. It's just... No. There are better versions. There are great Snow White stories out there. And I feel like this film is just going to be a disaster. That's all it's going to be. It's going to be a disaster. That simple at this point. And it is kind of sad, but what can we say? Disney don't care about their audience. They don't care about the people watching. They don't care about anything. And considering she started her career in reasonably underperforming movies, it just it just screams of desperation and narcissism and ego. So, yeah. I'm probably going to get hate for this video, but at this point I don't care because these people are morons. That uh, They should be grateful, stop biting the hand that feeds them, and just shut up and make a good movie. It's not, it's not that hard, is it, to be quiet? Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below. I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed this little bonus video.